What is going on guys? This is Stai here and today I am going to teach you, you know, server owners how to set up your Discord server um, so that when a new user joins they are prompted with, you know, a message. Um, they have to kind of like go through, you know, um, they kind of have to like, you know, agree to the terms of service first by, you know, writing, you know, an I agree message or they have to like say something, right? And once they have said that, they will have access to all the other servers, all the other channels on your server, right? So I have my main Discord open up right now, and I have my other Discord account over here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you on this over here. Um, you can see that I right now, this is my other Discord account. I can see these channels, but once I go ahead and remove the role from him, I can only see the, the welcome page, right? So, I know most of you guys have seen servers where, like, oh, yeah, they'll have this welcome page and um, they'll easily be able to, you know, um, set it up where that, you know, they have to kind of, like, read the rules first and then and then write, I agree. And then they'll have access to the other channels. So that's the main goal here. Um, so basically, the way it works is, first, you want to set up a role, a new user role. So this is the one role that every new user is going to have, right? So, you're going to basically give them, you know, basic permissions. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to set up your main role. So, these are roles that all the new users will be able to see. You want to set it up so that, um, I mean, you can easily just create a category. Set it up so that new only new users can read and see voice channels. They can send messages. Um, they can do whatever you want them to do. Read message history, blah, 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 blah. Right? All that kind of stuff. Add reactions. And you want to make it so that uh, every other person that is below new user cannot see uh, these channels right as you can see on my other account since I'm not a I'm just I'm just a regular user I can't see those channels right now right okay so yeah basically you know once I type in a message I agree uh, I'll then be able to I basically unlocked all the channels right so uh, yeah I mean there's also there's also other ways that you can do it too such as use, using reactions which I'll probably save for another video but for now we're just gonna do this because it's probably it's not that hard um, I actually you know just tried it out like a couple minutes ago and it actually really isn't that difficult to set up so you know hopefully you guys will uh, uh, enjoy this video so yeah let's get started and just a disclaimer this video might be lengthy but I'll try my best to make it um, as short as possible and as clear as possible, you know, with, you know, so I don't leave out any important information. Okay. So before you uh, attempt this, I, one thing I highly recommend is I highly recommend you know how to have your bot assign roles to users. If you don't know that, I recommend checking out, um, you know, a tutorial on YouTube, <clears throat> mine, right? Um, but, you know, yeah, if you just, uh, just check out any tutorial on YouTube, I do have a tutorial on my channel that teaches you how to, you know, um, have your bot assign roles to other users. So if you know how to do that, then that's perfect. OK, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use the events called uh, add guild member or guild member add um, guild member. Add. Yeah, so this is an event. Whoops. Uh, guild member add it should be somewhere over here. So this is an event right over here. And this, this this event is triggered whenever a new member, wait, well, not this one. Uh, did I click on the wrong one? Uh, it should be, should be somewhere up here. Guild. I just want to make sure I'm not, because I always, I always get confused because there's so, so much uh, different things. Guild member ad, there we go, this, this one right here. I just want to like show you guys, you know, where I'm getting this information from, and this might actually help you guys uh, out with reading the docs. So yeah, basically this uh, event is triggered whenever a user joins the guild or the server, right, and it's an event. So I'm going to be using that, so let's go ahead and write the code for that. So I'm going to go ahead and write that up here. So client, so ideally this is what most server server bots should really uh, account for first. So guild member add, and this is going to be a member object. Okay, we're gonna say okay. I'm gonna go ahead and write a message console.log. Um, a new user has arrived, and you can go ahead and send the user a message too. You'd be like, okay, member. Um, I believe it's send. Welcome to the server. Let's go ahead and try it out. I might be wrong with that. 
So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let me just hopefully I have the invite. I don't have the invite. Let me go ahead and get the invite. Uh, invite people. Copy. I'm going to go ahead and leave my test server. And I'm going to go ahead and rejoin it. And you guys should hear the notification. Um, there we go. Yeah. So it says, welcome to the server. The same exact thing that I wrote over here. Okay, perfect. So now uh, what I can do is I want the users to be able to, um, so the users should be able to talk in this in this, uh, in this channel. Um, so what I'm going to do is now we need to make sure, so let's, let's just assume that we have a bunch of rules, you know, written on, uh, you know, over here. So let me just delete all of this. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Uh... Oh, okay. So let's just say, you know, rules uh, one, two. Okay, so this is what really uh, people would see when they first arrive. Uh, well, actually, um, yeah, this is kind of what they would see. And then you could make it so that, uh, you can make it so that, you know, they have to wait 10 minutes and then, you know, then they have to type I agree or make 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 them wait five minutes, have them type type I agree, and then and then you can also have the rules copied in like you know rules information section. So this kind of forces people to read the rules first or any other information you want them to read, right? Um, so when they first arrive, they'll read this. Once they do that, uh, they'll then have access to all the channels, right? So we want the user to type in you know. Um, a word or a key message that says, you know, basically, basically acknowledges the fact that they are agreeing to the rules. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, so I'm going to go inside uh, the uh, the message event right over here, right? Not the guild member ad, not the same one that we just were in before, because right now we're not, right now we're dealing with a different event, the message event, right? So I'm going to do if, uh, let's see. Um, okay, so the first thing we have to do is we need to make sure that the message is being sent in the right server, in the right channel. So what I need to make sure is the channel dot name is equal to, and this is just the same exact name of the server channel. Make sure it's exactly the same way with the dashes and everything. Um, so yeah, if message dot channel dot name is equal to welcome, what you're gonna do is let's see, uh, let's see. So now we know we're in the right, we're we're in the right channel. So now I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, do a simple user. This is just the uh, debug message. So user sent the message in the welcome channel. So now we know that they're in the right channel. So they did send a message. Now what we want to do is we want to say, okay, if the message dot to lower message dot content dot to lowercase is equal to, I agree. Okay. So now we check if the message is I agree. And if it is, we then assign them to a role. So we can just say user agreed to terms and rules. Okay. We can go ahead and assign them to role. So now I've already written the code for um, assigning users to roles. So that's why I said, if you don't know how to assign users to roles, make sure you watch a tutorial or just go ahead and check out the one on my channel. Um, I tried my best to, you know, explain everything and, you know, the way I felt like was the easiest way. So yeah, go ahead and check that out. So assuming that you've done that already. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to now assign the user to a role. So I do have a function over here that will just basically add a user to whatever role I specify. So I'm going to call that function, add user role, pass in the role name. The name of the role is new user. And uh, the message is just the message object. So that'll basically add them to the role and I'm just going to send them a message saying uh, message dot um, send congratulations. You now have access to all of the server channels. Okay, and let's go ahead and just test this out, make sure everything works, because it would be embarrassing if it didn't. Okay, so now uh, the bot is up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and type down, well, so let's just say I join the server and it says rules, one, two, blah, blah, blah. I agree. I now have access to every single channel that I want the new users to be able to see, and I've been assigned the role, as you can see. 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Um, other things that you can account for is you can also, because like sometimes people like to just be, you know, annoying and they probably will just, you know, use it for spam purposes. Um, which it might not be a huge problem because, you know, you can just have it so they will just automatically delete the messages. But what you could do, what you could do is you can make it so that if they don't type in the right message, you can have it, I think, auto delete. So let me just check that real quick. It should be in somewhere, so let me check channel. And if I can't find it, I'll probably, uh, I mean, I'm sure you guys could probably figure it out. But you guys get the right idea, though. Um, and I'm not too sure if that's even possible, but it should be possible. You can just check the last, mes the last message sent. Um, well, actually, let me just check it right now before I end off the video. I mean, we are already past 10 minutes anyway, so... Um, See, let me just check. So what I so what I want to do is I want to make sure. So message dot channel. So methods. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, equals maybe. Nope, not equals. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. I don't think it would be await messages. There has to, I, I know there's a method or something, or there's a property. There's a property somewhere um, that checks. Okay, so delete, delete. Okay, so this is a uh, this is actually a uh, returns a promise. So maybe I'm just gonna copy and paste this. Okay, so what we can do. Is if the message is I agree, then this will happen. Else, delete the message. So uh, yeah. So let's just actually see. I'm not gonna format it right now. So so what I'm gonna do is I am in my test Discord right now. I'm gonna go ahead and. Just remove this guy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to say Notice how notice how the message automatically deleted. Alright, so I guess that's good. That's one good thing to know. So this would definitely prevent spam. Right? Because you can see uh user sent a message in the welcome channel. Delete it delete a message from Ya Yeet. Uh don't 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 comment on please don't comment on that name. Uh, but yeah, that's basically, I guess, one way you could deal with spam. So, yeah, I mean, uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, this uh, this video helped you guys out, and hopefully, this video made sense. If you guys do did enjoy this video, um, definitely do leave your comments in the description. I mean, in the in the comment section, I do appreciate feedback. Um, and if you guys want to see, you know, more videos, and if you guys do really want to see like the video on how to do it with reactions. Uh, definitely do let me know and i'll definitely look into it and figure it out and make a video on it so yeah i'll see you guys in my uh in my uh, next video peace guys